Hey guys, this is Evan Productions too. Just want to do a, a quick gear update. So, um, as you guys might be able to tell, I got a lot of new stuff recently. So I'm going to start off from, uh, from left to right. So, first of all, I, um, I got a soft shell. Um, this isn't actually like an actually like Gucci soft shell. Um, it is really nice, but it's, it's made by like 80 Bauer, which is not like a, like a military company. Um, it's good though. Um, I got it for a really good price. I think this was like, this cost me like 50 bucks. Um, I initially planned on getting the Helicon Tex, um, soft shell, but, um, for 50 bucks, <laughs> I couldn't really beat this. So anyways, um, uh, I did also order a, um, a Patagonia, um, uh, field blouse in AOR2, so that's good. You know, finally, uh, getting close to completing, uh, my rec kit. So, uh, just some changes to my first, to my second line. Um, I got a Milsom West tourniquet, um, just rubber banded on, I plan to get another one, um, sometime in the future. Um, I did get my, uh, my three, uh, Gen 1 PMAGs, um, in the mail today. Um, they, they feed pretty good, but they're really, really tight, so I gotta, I gotta sand them down a bit. Um, I ended up taking off one of the, um, the Tactical Tailor, uh, pouch plate on my first line, so there's only four, uh, mags right now. Um, and then the IRT dump pouch, you know, just stayed the same. So my, um, basically, although I have a, um, well, I have a first line, I'll go over what it is. So the, uh, the Brigger's belt is a Viking Tactics, um, Rigger's belt. Uh, honestly, there's not a lot of difference between a lot of the Rigger's belts. They, they all pretty much have the exact same design. Um, just the Viking Tactics one was uh, a little bit cheaper than the others. Um, it's still really good though. Um, you know, got a nice Cobra belt, stuff like that. So I have my, uh, my Tactical Tailor and 4 mag pouch on. Um, it, it is on by the, the Malice Strat, the Malice Clips. It does stay in place, which is nice. I got a K120 in there right now. And for my pistol holster, I use this Farland, um, I think, I think it's a 70S. It's, it's one of the, it's the, uh, new ALS models. I gotta say, this is probably the best, this is the, probably the best holster on the market in every regard right now. Um, it's probably the cheapest because um, this entire thing with mount um, cost me about fifty dollars. Um, this one's the quickest draw; it's really secure. Um, it's, it's very adaptable. I ran this um, without the light on my two two six for a while. Um, it's just fantastic. Also, it has this like special coating on the nylon that that makes it so that like your pistol like uh, the finish doesn't come off. Uh, so that's pretty cool if you're concerned about that. Um, I do have it on a, a standard belt, um, sp standard belt mount, but I definitely plan on getting a mid ride soon because um, it just makes for a faster draw, and this kind of interferes with my uh, my second line how it is. So my pistol is a KGW P226 E2. Um, I haven't actually used this in a game yet, but s so far it seems really good. I got a replica Surefire X300 uh, U on it. Uh, it's really really light bright. Um, so I got this in the EOTech and the PEC-15 off of PX Airsoft, in case you guys are wondering. Um, strangely, even though they didn't do this on the EOTech, they did kind of, like, censor out the um, the Surefire trades on this. But I can just redo them whenever, because those are easy to do, considering they've already been laser engraved. So some upgrades from Mark 18. Um, I got an EXPS-3. Um, this is really good. It's just a lot better than the 551 I had and a replica PEC-15. <laughs> Um, it's just a battery box. It serves no purpose. Um, I just have it on for looks. It's like one of the few things I have on just for looks. Uh, I still got the friggin' USTS sling because Hero Concepts is still not come out with their slingster yet. Uh, still need to get the CKBR, um butt plate. I think I'm going to do that when I go to Striker this weekend. So, I kind of... I It's kind of... Um, I wouldn't say an impulse buy because I, I really always wanted one. But, um, it doesn't really serve that much purpose. Um, this is a Panasonic Toughbook CF-29. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the version of the military, um, they used for a while. I think they still use. Um, it has no hard drive, um, or OS, but it actually does work. I'll turn it on. So, you know, 
it has it has nothing on it. So, but the computer itself does work, which is pretty cool. Um, got that for like I mean these things are really cheap now. I, I mean this was a really good one in good in really good condition, and I bought it for about like fifty bucks shipped. Yeah, um, yeah. So I've always just wanted one. I think they're really cool. Um, so that's it. If you guys have any questions about anything, just uh, comment. Thanks, guys. Uh, have a good day.